happy Sunday guys, hope that you're all okay. This is the start of my meals of the week. So today I'm doing a cheats version of roast beef because I've bought the roast beef already prepared from the deli counter and I'm going to cook that in beef gravy and I serve homemade roast potatoes, honey roast carrots, homemade Yorkshire puddings and some Brussels and some stuff in. <laughs> Hubby is currently peeling the potatoes right now. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so this was the uh, deli beef. I won't actually get this again. It wasn't very good. It was too far too thin. It was breaking up as I was cooking it. So next time I'll get something else. These are my roast potatoes with my uh, sage and onion stuffing and polenta blended crispy mix. The family really enjoy this. These are just some boiled carrots for little Amelia because the honey roast ones might not might be a bit, bit difficult for her. Just standard sage and onion stuffing balls. These are the honey roast carrots. I used to do the battens but sometimes they stayed a little bit hard so I do them like this now. They always go down the treat with everybody. Brussels sprouts. We actually all love Brussels sprouts so and Amelia really enjoyed them. She was um yeah, she finished them all. My homemade Yorkshire puddings. In a second you're going to see that I actually only gave Martin one, I forgot, and I have to rectify that immediately. I always cook far too many, as you can see. I'm about to put the gravy on, I'm like, oops, why has Martin only got one Yorkie? <laughs> loads and loads of gravy. We like our gravy to be quite thick, so let me know how you like your gravy. Lashings of gravy, yum yum. And this is our dinner on a Sunday. Just a good old fashioned roast dinner. And it went down really, really well with everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video, lots of love. I hope that you enjoyed today's meal and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'll wait for you to see what that is tomorrow when I decide. Take care, lots and lots of love, God bless. Happy Monday, it's bank holiday. I hope that you guys have a lovely day. Today I am doing chicken tikka bites that I got from Aldi. They're really, really yummy on a kebab flatbread. I've done a chopped salad to go with it. And Amelia's just had some french fries, chicken nuggets and some cucumber and I'll bring you back when I'm about to dish up. Dish up. Okay so today I did the chicken tikka bites with kebab flatbreads. I'm just whacking on some mayonnaise and some sweet chilli sauce on the base. Honestly that combination is so delicious. I really love it. It's such a lovely flavour. Here are the chicken tikka bites. They are honestly so incredibly tasty. I cannot recommend them enough. They're from Aldi. I think they're $2.99 a bag. I use two bags here. Then I'm going to add, I've got some chopped lettuce, just regular iceberg lettuce. You can put on there whatever you want though, really. Chopped onions. I'll probably put far too much onion on this one, being honest, because they're quite strong. So I'd probably do half the amount next time. I've stinky breath all day. Some mixed peppers. I use my little chopping uh, machine, that's so amazing. And then cucumber. That gives it such a great freshness. More mayo and sweet chilli I'm afraid. And then we made wedges. We weren't supposed to make wedges with tonight's dinner. It was supposed to be tomorrow with the burgers, but made them anyway. So I just whacked them in a bowl for people to help themselves to. And they did. They really enjoyed them. And that was dinner on a Monday evening. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.
hope you enjoyed today's video lots of love god bless happy tuesday everyone i hope that you're okay tonight's dinner is going to be the sweet and smoking barbecue chicken tenders i'm going to do them as burgers i've got some onion rings i'm doing some homemade wedges and oh corn on the cob <laughs> I'll pop a little bit of salad in the in the burger back and we'll be away we're having dinner tea a little bit earlier tonight because me and jj have a book club but it's our cinema night so yeah i'll catch up with you when i'm about to dish up just thought i'd show you what we're doing me me because she's not the same as us she's got a corn cob some sausage and my butter pasta that she loves i just thought i'd show you <laughs> in case you think i'm not feeding her Okay, so I just got some pre-sliced burger babs. These were actually the only ones available, but they were absolutely fine. These were the chicken strips. They weren't actually that nice. They were quite dry. The coating on them was a bit, mm, yeah, I wouldn't get them again. Pop some mayonnaise on the base of the bap. We love our mayo in this family. Popped a little bit of barbecue sauce on top, mix it up a little bit. <laughs> and then iceberg lettuce and some chopped peppers. We love peppers with chicken. More mayo. These are my homemade wedges. I parboil them and then season them with a garlic and herb seasoning. They're so delicious. Lots of onion rings, probably far too much food here. Oh look, corn on the cobs. And look at my cute little Mexican hat and cowboy boots. It's, it's a nightmare to eat with though, to be fair. Yeah, lashings of um, onion rings. Like I said, I've got to get this portion under control, haven't I? <laughs> we'll learn together. And this was our dinner on a Tuesday evening. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed today's meal stay tuned for what we have tomorrow evening i hope that you're all okay lots and lots of love god bless happy wednesday everyone i hope that you're okay today's dinner is going to be a chicken tikka masala with a little bit of basmati rice some homemade wedges and non bread is that right curry wedges rice normal yes so i'll bring you back um and little me Leo will be having the same as us today so i'll bring you back when i'm serving up okay so this is just regular basmati rice as you all know it's boiling the bag because i am rubbish at portion control i used three bags between us all because amelia apparently really likes her rice and I was doing some um, wedges because I had some leftover potatoes and I didn't want it to go to waste. Here they are. <laughs> and this is the curry. I used the uh, Aldi tikka masala sauce. I used two jars and a patax tikka paste. And let me tell you, it was up there with the premium brands. Very, very tasty. I would definitely get it again and would recommend it. And there was plenty left over for Martin to take for lunch at work tomorrow, so he was he was made up. And then I did two large garlic and coriander naan breads that I shared amongst us. And this was our dinner on a Wednesday evening. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I hope that you all enjoyed today's meal. I'll catch up with you so we can do it all again tomorrow. Lots of love. God bless. Happy Thursday. I hope that everyone's okay. Today's meal dinner is just a spaghetti bolognese with some garlic bread. I'll come back when I'm serving up. Okay, so tonight's dinner is spaghetti bolognese minus the spaghetti. I didn't have any. So we have rigatoni and pen, penne, however you say it. And this is my new meat chopper from Amazon. I'll link it below if you're interested. It was absolutely fantastic. One of my lovely subscribers told me what to search because I was looking for one for ages. I see it in America all the time. Absolutely brilliant. 
I don't like chunky bits of mint, so this got it down really nice and fine. I loved it. Yeah, and this is just our normal spag bowl. Little Mimi absolutely loved it. She's seen her little face covered in it. <laughs> this was the Grand Pandano cheese, which I put on the table. And this is our tea on a Thursday evening. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch up with you next week. Lots of love. I hope that you enjoyed today's meal. This is actually the last one I'm officially doing because I cook Sunday through to Thursday. So let me know in the comments if this is something that's interested you. If it's not, I won't do another one. But if, if you found it interesting and, and a little bit of inspiration or whatever, then let me know in the comments and then I'll continue on next week. I hope that you all have a wonderful week ahead because you'll be seeing this whole video on Monday and yeah lots of love god bless and i think to myself and i'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time